Hey guys, welcome back to Samaros 3. I've neglected to do this longer than I should have. Mm -hmm. But it's time to finally be completionist about this. So the big thing to do after finishing the story is to try to fill this whole screen in with, with the, uh, I believe, 30 different collectibles. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a little mini-series. Well, I guess it's hard to say mini-series when the, uh, the main game was already pretty short. But, uh... I'm gonna do an additional series now, where I also play through the all the planets in order again. But, instead of solving the story, I'm now looking for the little secrets that exist along the way. So let's find our way all the way back to the starting planet, and we'll start down there. Because lucky us, we can just fly wherever we want now. So there's probably gonna be some jump cuts here, because I'm just gonna be ex running around in circles looking for things that I missed, but... Somewhere on all these planets, there's a bunch of secrets, and I'm going to try to find every single one that I've missed along the way. Thankfully, the game has achievements, and you can just look at the achievements to see which ones you don't have, and that gives me a pretty major clue as to what each individual object is. Alright, let's get started. I also got a tip from a commenter to say to, saying to go visit the bed. So we started this game off by waking up in bed. Let's see what happens when I go to sleep. And on that topic... Oh, hey, hey puppy, you miss me? Aww. Look at the... Nice little guy. Whoa! Okay. So you immediately get a dog just for walking in. That's not the right toner for that. That's enough for now. Alright, let's go ahead and visit the bed. Well, well that was easy. That got one of those on accident. But yeah, we started the game in the bed. Let's see what happens when I go back to it. That's a cute little moment. I think it is going to loop forever, though. Alright. Let's pop on out there and see what else we can find around town. So one of the first things I noticed is that one of the achievements I'm missing is called Blossom. And these are blossoms right out here. And uh, we never got anything out of these. Oh, wait. I'm actually making the the, the flowers disappear. So I just need to, do I need to click on all of them? There we go. Didn't even have to get all of them, just a lot of them, it looks like. Oh, they're growing back. Interesting. Yeah. So what do you sound like? So many little combinations to play with. All right. By the way, nice little nod there in the. Uh, first of all, this entire this entire house might be a nod to Machinarium, the uh, one of the previous games they played where he plays a little machine character with a, a sort of bulbous shaped head. But uh, in that dream in particular, alongside the the robot that play, that was acting out as the knight, there was just straight up a uh, a Machinarium character right there. Let's see what else I can find on this planet. All right. So I'm curious. One of them is mushrooms, which pl pretty clearly seems like it would point me at this place specifically. Taking us back to one of the first times we ever used this thing. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
Oh, there we go. Got that right away. I wonder what the deal there was. Because I summoned them before and that didn't happen. So I guess the top, I guess the question then is, is that a victory thing for beating the game, or is it something that only happens... Let's see, I think I might have sent them twice to, before, so maybe this was the third time? That could have been what's going on. It's interesting, as from a musical standpoint, a, the uh, huge number of ghost uh, mushrooms basically amount to being a, uh, a chorus. <laughs> Some definitely fit better than other ones. Alright. My next- the next thing I'm curious about is actually the, uh... There's all these rocks in the next room over. One of my objectives is rock heads. These are the most head-like rocks I can think of. They're vertical, at least. So it's worth testing. So can you click on these? Oh, you can. Is that it? That's- that is absolutely it, yeah. It's like, this room's literally filled with rock heads. And these look mobile. Alright, got it. What does this one do? Let's keep looking. I've been looking around for what could be left. And I'm, what I'm curious about is that this deer is constantly running around the entire environment, and that seems like it could be relevant somehow. Like, look, look at this guy. He's gotta be something, right? Otherwise, why would they include him? I mean, sure, maybe just atmosphere, but pretty much everything, even in the atmosphere, seems to be some kind of environmental thing sooner or later. So I'm curious. And so I've been running up and down the island over and over again, trying to find where I could do something. Really, this is the specific spot that seems interesting. Because they made a zigzag series of platforms leading up to a cave. Don't worry, dear. Oh, he got startled. Still. Can I hide in here? This must be my opportunity, right? This will give me a chance to sneak up on him. Hey, buddy. Come on over. Don't be afraid. Yum, 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 yum. I am become the hunter. <laughs> got banjo noises. That sounds like fun. That's not the sound I expected at all. That was, <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I got banjo noises based on what happened at the beginning there, but it looks like we got something very, very different. Alright, I'll take a look around to see if there's anything else, but I, I, we might be out of stuff to do on this planet. And on to the fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy planet. The planet of the singing newts. Oh, hey, little fish. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. I think this cup has a little fish in it. Yep, there it is. That's new. Never saw that before. I wonder. Let's try to catch it, maybe? Yep. Got it. That's exactly what it was. Alright, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a worthwhile curiosity about this thing, because when I first came here, 
uh, we were able to repair this thing with glue, and then you filled it with water through here. So a worthwhile question was, what was up with all these flowers I made grow at some point that gathered the bees around here? I get it. Oh, I get it. Because the the uh, fish is trying the fish is trying to eat the bees to, for food. I think that's what's. Wait, what a fish eat? Let's disregard that comment. Either way, I think that the flowers and the bees are what led to this in the first place. Let's go ahead and test the sound. I'm getting less and less certain about which ones to try to mix some of these with lately. Alright, that's that's another one down though. Alright, this is one of the curiosities. I can I can make sounds at it. Oh look at that little guy. And click on him to make him make sounds. Okay. Yeah, I was curious because this is a weird standalone room. That didn't seem to serve any purpose besides having this weird elevator sp sort of spot on it. Alright, besides being a zipline, it also has a secret. Where was that? Didn't want to mix it with anything, honestly. Someone suggested there may be more song to experience over here. Maybe if I were to reinitiate it? Or if, maybe I wonder if I've lost that chance or not already.
Yeah, I definitely left early last time. My bad. That was cool. Can I make you go back? Do you go back? Oh, there we go. There's something new. Bye, guy. Hey, we found something. This is the sound of emphysema. Alrighty, what secrets do you have left, weird, weird wooden planet? The first thing that comes to mind, and frankly I've had extra time to think about this uh, since I've been here. I'm not entirely satisfied with how I handled that one weird room that seemed to have like a nervous system running through it. I'm sure there's weird loose ends there. Also, when I was editing the footage in the first place, I noticed there was, that, there was the bird that keeps, uh, making weird sounds. And in the left, the leftmost screen we had back there... It really does seem like basically everything there did something. Gonna be going right down here. It really did seem like everyone here did something. Like, this guy you had to capture, this guy would try to eat stuff. Don't know what the deal with the weird screaming guy is, but there's a few things around here that all seem to have a role. So, and this guy just seemed weird, so what's what's your deal? Alright, well, he's a bird. Is that why I keep saying no over and over again? Oh, I, th I think I have an idea, actually. So, what if he's saying no because I'm supposed to do something specific? What if he's a mockingbird, for example, and I'm supposed to f go after the weird sound he does? So, this guy? There we go. Oh, what's that last one? Yep. No? You? No? You? There we go! Got one. He was so happy, and kind of lenient, because at the end there I was like, I don't know what sound that is. Uh, click, 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 click. It's gotta be one of these things, right? <laughs> Alright. So that was a Mockingbird one? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He actually mimics the sound. Alright, let's check it on the nervous system. 
That room that room is so freaking complicated. So I have the same logic there as this one really is that it was another room like this one that had so much stuff going on. So I want to see if I'm missing something. Is that was the screaming mouth guy like making noises at me? Is there any follow up on this guy by the way? Does he have any reaction to the fact that I saved the world or does he care? Does it come up in conversation? Uh, no, we will not touch his face. Okay, never mind. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, sweet. He's just happy to see me. Got that one just for walking by. So some of these are almost definitely things that you just get for either finishing that particular planet or finishing the entire uh, game. So we got our first guitar sound. I think that's our first guitar sound. I mean, some of them could be synthesized guitars in some form, but the uh, the other one was a string section of, of a, well, an actual string section of an orchestra. All right, so last time I had bad luck here, but let's think about something new. So the issue here is that everything's a different color. There's specifically a blue one, a green one, and a red one. And these are green, red, blue. This looks like it's red, green, and this one's blue. Red, green, blue. Blue, green, red. So... We have four options of where they can go to. Red, green, and blue. And then this other one, the neutral one, this, they seem to get dumped to by default. For example, uh... Let's go ahead and just dump that in there for as an example. So this is not programmed to go anywhere, it just went, it just went through green and, and blue. So... Based on this theory, it should just dump into the waste bin in the far left. But we want to see what happens if I specifically configure it to stick to one color all the way. So for example, this one's currently going to red, so if we go in the middle one, it'll go red. This seems to be red-green as far as I can tell, because this one looks pretty blue, and that looks like it has hints of red in it. Then this one has red, so let's try... ...shifting that. There, red's on the bottom, so that's the good- that's the right path for it to take. Then it'll go through here. I think we're good at that point. I think if I put it in the middle one right now, it'll touch every red component. This is concerning. Um... Did I... Whoa, hey! Okay, lesson learned. The red is not my answer. <laughs> Interesting. So, my theory is right, though. Which is that if, the, if we stick to the same color the entire way through and don't miss them, then we're good. So that must have been what I was messing up before, is that if I ever miss any of the individual parts of that color, we lose it. Because if it- if if a section of the thing is all three colors, then all three of them light up. But if you- But if- uh, so like the idea there is just to keep sticking to ones that'll keep the one you want lit up. So obviously just keep following that path, or the mixed path that contains that color, or when there's no other option, which just happens like twice at least, the part that is all three of them at once. So if you don't break the connection, you end up in that chamber. Now I just need to figure out what the other ones do, because this one is an ejection sequence, and that's not really what I was going for. <laughs> Alright, let's see here... I think green? Or yellow? Is it yellow or green? 
Uh, I think that color is the one that got me the solution that let me continue last time. So let's try blue. So we want to go down this way. Let's try to point this over. There we go. Oh wait, can it go further? It can, okay. So it's gonna go in here. Up through here. This one's in the wrong position. It needs to go up. To the blue up here, so blue. I think that's it. All right, let's give it a shot. That sound, made me, that sound made me want to play uh, Dynasty Warriors. Alright. That's a nice little touch. It's interesting because the, the musical component of this chamber was at, uh, turned out to be this thing that looks a lot like an eardrum. Which actually makes sense. That was, I think that was our contextual clue that it was audio related. Oh yeah, that seems to fit. Alright, let's see what else I can find. We may be just about done with this planet. <laughs> Speaking of moons... Oh wow. The ship's really having to chase it. There we go. Any follow up here? Oh, this looks interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, just like that. It's one of those victory ones, I guess. I'm wondering if there's any more congratulations type spirits left out there. Let's make our way to the volcano planet yet next. The uh, place that this moon came from in the first place. Because I'm curious whether or not there's anything else around here. I felt like we were here very, very briefly. I probably spent less time on this planet than any of the other ones because you kind of walked across the surface solved once you saw the little tiki looking thing. I never really had to come back around. One of my curiosities just involves the weird ships that are around here. Not the ships, the uh, the weird creatures on the surface. And what's their deal? Hey little guys. Can I pick you up or anything? I can just click on you and that's it. Looks like you can scare them and they eventually go hide. They're getting spooked. That's a little detail right there. If you startle them, they actually run back into their little bases. Aha! Hide from me. I think that, yeah, there's more of them over here, though. Oh, what's this thing? Hey, little guy. Do I just want to click on all of you guys? Is that what I'm going for? Maybe not? Huh. Maybe I just keep clicking on him. Where'd he go? Stay down. Maybe? 
He just seems different from everything else. Why is he here? Yeah, different? Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going for here. There was two of them. That's interesting to me. Oh, there's a big- the big one showed up the moment the little one got away. So, maybe the little one needs to catch up with the big one. Oh yeah, look at that. The, the whole time I was playing with the little one, the big one never showed up again. But the, now that the little one, now the big one, little one's gone, the big one's back. Oh, they climb up. That was exactly what was going on. <laughs> you can still click on him in this state. All right. Yeah, I was curious. Nothing was happening the more I clicked on the little one, but it seemed like it had a purpose. And the exact moment it got off screen, the other one came back. That kind of tipped off what the sequence was there. Where is it? I don't- there it is. It takes a little practice to figure out anything that'll mix together, but I think I found some that'll kind of jive. Oh, this is interesting. These are all different. Sh these are all different sizes. Oh, and I can pick them up. This looks like a, one of those weird logic puzzles where they're all different sizes. Is that what I'm going for? Stack them all up on top of each- That's- <laughs> That's exactly what the solution is. Just take these guys and stack them up. Can I put them another one on top? So I bet they had to be uh, decreasing in size, like that pyramid, uh... Like the ring puzzle? Where you have a, a stick and rings that go around it and they're different widths and you, you're supposed to rearrange them so that the, uh... Like, there's a rule where only... Smaller ones can go on top of larger ones, and you're supposed to move them from one ring to another in a th in, from one pole to another in a three-pole puzzle. I think that I think that's what they were resembling there. Where is it? There we go. Well, that's bound to go with all sorts of them. One's perfect. That'll that'll fit. That'll mix with all sorts of different combinations. I think. Hey, little guy. What's your deal, huh? Look at this little guy. Oh, there we go. Well, that was the whole thing, I guess. He's just a weird. It's just sort of a centipede just hanging out. That one. That wasn't much of a puzzle to that one. What? I'm not- I'm not even sure what that sound was. Not sure how well it would mix with anything though, because it was such a- it was such a busy sound that it seems like it would... ...take over everything. Yeah, I'm not sure if that one mixes well at all, actually. So how about you creepy little guys? They're scattering. Oh, there's more over here. Hang on a second. Probably have to get to them quickly. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of bats in here. Quick, back to the first ones! Do I have to do it up here? Quickly! I may have lost my chance. 
Here, we'll just go faster this time or something. Yep, that was it. Got it. Nailed it. So where are the bats at? There we go. Enjoy your driving percussion. Alright. That one took me a while to find, actually. Just the tiniest detail of things flying around in the ceiling in here. Alright, is there... So the question then is, is there anything else left on this planet? Alright, inevitably we're going off to the final planet again. Now, this place isn't too big, so there's probably not too many places to check for what I'm missing. And unless I've missed stuff, the remaining achievements should be all around here. The question is, what in the world am I missing? Hey, little guy. Oh my god. I'm gonna be here for an eternity. I understand what the deal with this guy is. He whistles a note. He whistles a sequence. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. He does an eight. He does an eight. Uh, an eight-note song, and I have to recreate it. Ah. <sighs> All right. All right. I'll be here for a while. Was that it? That was it. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh, we got it. Alright. That was a lot of notes to test. Makes all the more sense, too, because it whistles, and this is a wood instrument that's blowing air through holes, and that, meaning, you know, it's it's making whistling sounds. But that is a very specific sequence to nail. So I went ahead and came back with the fuel. Because, hey, that, the bad guy's not here anymore. Maybe I can get some of that, uh, some of that, uh, brew for myself. Come on out. Yep, no one else is here to take it this time. <laughs> he has no interest in drinking it. But it is there. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm fairly happy with that one, though. Alright. What's our total at? Because there's 30 in the game, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'm missing one. And what's weird... I don't have one for the horns. These horns. Did I never get a, did I never get one from them? Surely there's one from these guys. Maybe it didn't save, or maybe I just never got it. I'm 
I'm not not getting it. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. So there we go, right? That there we go. That's thirty. I believe that's every secret in the game. There could be other minor things like click on this thing and it chirps at you or something, which is uncountable. But at the very least, as far as I can tell, this is every single one of these. And so with that, I think I'm going to say this is the finale, guys. Thanks for watching like always. This has been Samaros 3. And hey, maybe uh, if you like this, maybe check out my playthrough of The Witness. The people who played, who watched me play that seem to like watching me play this. So maybe the people who watched me play this will like watching me play that. I'll go ahead and play us out with the sound of every single one of these things turned on at the same time. I have no idea if that's a good idea or not. It's probably not a good idea, but we're going to find out. Thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time.